Hi, I'm Stu Miniman, Senior Analyst with Wikibon, and in this segment of Wikibon Whiteboard, we're going to talk about enterprise clouds. Now, when we talk to practitioners in the Wikibon community, there's typically a mandate from the executive office where they say, you need to adopt cloud. Now, of course, when that comes down to the people that have to implement it, cloud means many things to many people. What it really starts with is that first, we need to reduce costs. This has been something that companies have been dealing with for years. Budgets are typically flat and uh, organizational staff often are having to shrink. And we also need to be more agile. That means we need to be able to fastly answer the challenges that the business brings forward. And what we've been doing in the past often leaves me uh, saying no to the business or being slow to respond to new things. As someone that needs to implement IT, of course, you think about making changes. And first of all, I'm concerned about what about the security of the environment and what about any uh, data governance or compliance that I need to meet with. So we'll, we'll talk about some of these issues. Because first of all, cloud is not a single solution. When you talk to most customers and they say, oh, I'm doing hybrid cloud and that's the way they do things, that means that they are doing multiple environments. So there, there's three big buckets of clouds, software as a service or SaaS, public cloud, and private cloud. Now, software as a service and public cloud are pretty standard. Uh, most people have deployed you know, any number of software as a service solutions. And public cloud, like Amazon Web Services, which is now 10 years old from, from Amazon, uh, Azure uh, from Microsoft, and, and others that provide public cloud solutions are well understood for a variety of reasons. When we talk about private clouds, however, uh, it's a little bit hazier as to what we mean by private clouds. Uh, this is one of the reasons that Wikibon put together a definition of true private cloud. What we tried to help practitioners is understand how am I putting together something that gives me really the pricing, agility, and low operational costs uh, of a public cloud, but in something that's in my own, under my control environment, whether that's something that's on my own premises or that is hosted in an environment. So really, uh, with the private cloud, uh, we need to talk about uh, it, it's the low operational staffing. Uh, it should have services that can be added to it, similar to what I have in a public cloud environment where I can go deploy something and add to it. So uh, our true private cloud also ex extends to hybrid cloud. And in this video, when we're talking about hybrid cloud, we're going to talk about things that span between private and public cloud uh, for a single application, really, or uh, you know, th that environment. So we want to dig into this enterprise cloud, and the solution we're going to talk about is Nutanix has an enterprise cloud. Uh, and most people really know Nutanix as a provider of hyperconverged infrastructure. Uh, for those that, that aren't super familiar about hyperconverged infrastructure, you can check out our other videos or go to wikibon.com for the research. But uh, Nutanix sells a distributed architecture that simplifies the hardware, the software, and the operational model of what we're doing in a data center. And if we look at Wikibon's true private cloud, hyperconverged or converged infrastructure can really provide the foundational layer for a private cloud. So we have boxes that handle both the compute and the storage. I've defined the hardware, I understand the software, and I'm really going to simplify the operational model uh, for, for what we're doing here. Um, now, that solution can also be extended over to the public cloud. The same software that runs in the private cloud can come over here to the public cloud. So I can have, just like I have a cluster in my private cloud, I can have a cluster in the public cloud. And the first use case for that is really going to be for backup. So we're going to take my cluster and be able to back it up into the public cloud. Second uh, use case that we use is disaster recovery. Same thing is I have environments that I'm using in my private cloud. I want to be able to leverage uh, the, the same operational model uh, at, you know, between these environments, uh, but I want to have the, the cost savings that I can have uh, in the public cloud. So big distinction there is in the public cloud, AWS, uh, for instance, I'm only going to pay for what I'm using. And since my backups and my disaster recovery solutions uh, have lower, much lower utilization uh, than my primary cluster, uh, I can have savings there. Now, to pull all of these together, really what I need is I need a management platform that can span between the private and public cloud. And from Nutanix, uh, this is their software called Prism. Uh, so this is going to make sure that 
I not only have the same operational model, but when I'm deploying the environment, uh, I need to make sure that the simplification and ease of management turns into really understanding the consumption model, uh, and therefore I can take prescriptive actions if I'm looking across both the private and the pub public cloud environments. Um, so there are other solutions out there that span public and private cloud. Uh, some will say that hardware, if I do the same hardware on both sides of the private and public clouds, I can really understand uh, the performance that I'm going to get per application. Uh, Nutanix's position on this is that if the software and management understands both environments really well, uh, that you know they un obviously understand their private cloud, cloud cluster as well as the Amazon Web Services solutions are uh, pretty standardized and straightforward so that I can understand what I get there. Uh, I can leverage the management platform to, to get the best utilization out of what I have. And really, uh, the biggest saver for most companies is going to be in that operational model. If you check out Wikibon's true private cloud figures, uh, this is where the, there's great savings to be able to help move faster uh, and, and move forward. Uh, in the future, we're going to extend the use cases uh, spanning this enterprise cloud. Uh, bursting is one that we've talked about in the cloud environment for, for a number of years, but is only now starting to come to reality just with really the pricing, the networking, uh, and the, the, the orchestration ability between them. Uh, ideally, customers are going to be able to choose their, infra, choose their location of their applications based on the business requirements rather than having any lock-in from the infrastructure itself. So I hope this has helped you understand the basics of building an enterprise cloud. Please check out wikibon.com for all the research, and thank you for joining us.